Hey guys, it's Alexi Bellion, Mr. Bellion here to you, my students. All right, um, what we should do just, um, I noticed that I haven't given you the setup for this activity. So I'm just going to create a, this is for the perpetual board balls, guys, ball balls. So we go, we created a block, a base, okay? And what I'd like to do, let's just get some dimensions here. Okay, so let's go 50, tab 5, tab 50. So that's a good number, all right? Five for shading. Next thing is, um, select it and let's bring the x zero uh, let's see here and zero I like my translate X and translate Z to be zero okay cool so this is the ground all right so uh, I know I show you in a, in a video later on that I do call this ground geo but let's just do it right the first time as well let's create a layer down here Okay, it's selected, and right now, call this ground. Okay, so in the future, what we can do is uh, simply turn it off, turn it on. Okay, this is really powerful. Okay, it's very simple. Create a new layer and assign selected object. How cool is that? The next thing I'll do is I'll uh, make a sphere, and I want the radius to be two. Okay, love that. Here we go. Two is good. Okay, call it ball. Boom, right there. And where are we, what are we doing here? If it's two, just type in two, and it's up here, right? Okay, so are you at zero, mon ami? I think we are. Uh, let's see, a couple things. Quick texture. Right click, assign new material. Let's bring it checkered. Lambert first. Okay, come down here, Lambert, where it says color. Instead of color, let's just come in here and give it a checker. And let's go with red. Red's fun. Okay, click. Oh, where'd it go? I don't see it. I don't know. Perhaps we can press number six. Oh, yeah. There it is. Six it is. Okay, we have our ball. Uh, notice, okay, uh, this is new territory for you guys, and it's a good time to show you. Okay, if I'm going to be working the orthographic view, right, front, there it is. Zoom out a touch. And my next video, I think I'll show you, uh, I did. So I'm doing this after the fact. I'll import the view from Brian's work. And we should update it at some point soon in terms of on twos. Uh, here it is. This is the balls right here. Pressing plus, minus, changing the size of your tripod there, uh, of X, Y, Z. All right, next thing, notice right now the location. Ooh, I knew it was off. Zero, my friend, and zero here. Yes, that's better. Notice here, translate Y is at 2 and it hits the ground, right? The people who came up with Maya are really brilliant. Watch this. Under modify, if I press, if I select, now press modify, freeze transformation. Watch what happens over here to the TY. Modify, freeze. Oh, zero. Interesting, isn't that? Isn't that cool? So if you were to start animating, let's say, at, let's say we bring it at high point is 16. That's my extreme, right? And I'm just going to press S right now. Boom. And uh, hey, are we doing S or what here, Valiant? Come on. Uh, right click, key selected, or S. And then I'm going to move over here to frame 11. And if I press right now, I actually change the Y to zero. Look at that. How cool is that? Okay, uh, so that's the start. Um, let's do some preferences and so on. So this is just an example. Okay, boom, boom, back and forth. So instead of coming up here trying to figure out what the ground is, that is zero, people. And what did I do? Modify, freeze transform. Fantastic. All right, let's do some preferences here. First, first off, animation. Hmm. Uh, let's go to linear and stepped. I showed this in class today. So. So just think of you going down the steps as opposed to going down a slide, okay? The end result is going to the bottom, but stepped, in a way, you control your, your movements, okay? It's one step at a time. Baby steps, my friends, okay? So here it is. Actually, my students. Linear, step, cool. Next, we'll go to time slider. And I've actually punched it up to two. So you go one time, nice and nice and low, two. If you want more real estate, clearly stay at one. The most important thing is this. You will probably find it play at every frame. We are using feature, uh, quality film here, animation. So we're going to go 24 frames per second. And then if you want things to continue and your views or oscillate back and forth or once, 
and anyway, we'll talk about that in the future okay in terms of watching your animation so if I press save right now actually let's do one more thing undo infinite for you guys uh, I guess thanks Jason Ryan for that he did a setup with infinite so that was kind of cool undo save so million changes it'll remember everything as long as you keep it the next thing uh, I want to do and I know I'm jumping ahead super fast here guys I need to set this project okay project window all right so I did this so many times with you guys but here we go new we don't know where we're going we go inside the folder in your documents folder documents Maya or you can go into your period class and so on uh, Maya we're in Maya so right here I'm gonna make a new one for you and this exercise is perpetual ball or miles, right? P E R underscore B B by who? A B, that's me, Alexi Ballion. So I'm going to look for what I just created, and it's perpetual. Ooh, where are you, my friend? Are you the one? Oh, come on. What did I do here? I thought I typed it in. All right. Did I do it? P E R new. Let's do that again. New folder, nice and slow. P E R underscore ball bounce underscore who? A B. Okay, let's just leave it at that ball bounce. Okay, just for fun, type it in. All right, O U N C E done. So I'm gonna just click here and go select. There it is, select it, and in here we'll go to P E R ball bounce. Okay, so accept. And what's really cool is later on we do play blasts. Guess what? It's going to go into movie folder. In the future, when we create uh, textures and so on, we'll bring everything in organized. So in the future, we want to have everything saved in our scenes, right? So watch this. We did this, right? One more step, my friends. Set project. Here it is. Set. Now it's cool. It's set there. It knows where to go. And then finally, we'll go file, save, scene as. So I just call this, look at that. Perpetual bow bounce, BB, scene. And now we're going to call this, uh, let's say, P-E-R, we're starting this one, right? Zero one, and what is my zero one? Scene setup, so I'm just gonna go set up. Okay, so I'm gonna start there. Ooh, that doesn't look like a zero there, let's do that. So actually, we're just gonna go in increments of, of uh, you know, what am I saying, in ones, every 10 minutes. The key is you guys gotta save every 10 minutes, and what I'm trying to do at zero one, what is it set up, okay? So I've set it up pretty good, I'm happy. Um, I do show this to you guys later, but it's a review again. Uh, let's let's just start here. Panels. One more thing in my and my. Uh, let me just work on my layout, and I do show this in, later on. So, what kind of uh, layout do I want? I want two panes stacked, but three panes split top. Here we go. All right. Here we go. Right down here, panels. And if this is going fast, I apologize, guys. You guys can watch this a few times. Where's my layout panel? Here we go. Graph editor. Come on. Bingo. Right here. Awesome. Usually I'll have a camera set up, so I'll come in here and have it, but for now we'll go in perspective. Five, okay, so this is your shot in perspective with, with the film gate on, that's my shot. Usually when we put a camera in here, guys, you freeze it, okay, so you always know what your shot's going to look like. Uh, you know what, for now let's do it. Create cameras. Camera, all right, and my friend, my good instructor, Alex, Williams showed me this earlier. So panels and look through selected. There's my shot. I'm looking through the camera. Boom, slide it in. This is it. If I like what I'm seeing here, let me just scrub here for a second. Boom. Okay, that's not bad, right? That's a good shot. So let's go to in here. Call it shot cam underscore cam. And put that in. And then next thing you do is you lock it. Lock it. Where is that lock selected? Okay, so this will always be in that view. Side view, we're good to go. All right, so guys, this is a pretty good setup. I hope this uh, wasn't too long. And uh, ba -boom. nice. Okay, we're good. Hope you like this. Uh, let me just press six. Ballion out. Thank you very much, everybody. Let me just shut it down.